This is part one of the Brain Voyager Getting Started video tutorial guides. In this first tutorial we're going to look at project creation. So the first thing you want to do is click on project wizard. You're given a number of options. You can click through these options to see what they're about. But the one we're looking for is FMR project. So we'll select that and click next. Our files are in the DICOM file format, that's fine. In this tutorial, they call the project CG underscore objects. So we'll write that. We want to browse to where the data is located. So the data comes from brainvoyager.com. You can download that there. You can browse to the folder. Typically it will look empty, but it's not. So if you choose the folder, you'll get a list of what's actually in the folder. Uh, the first option is a uh, localizer or scout. The second option is the T1 anatomical. And the third option is our FMR. This is the experimental run we want to choose, so we'll click that. Brainvoyager then pulls information about that run from the DICOM header file. Um, we can ignore this for now, we can click next. It has 25 slices, that's fine. Uh, we can ignore that, click finish. Once Brainvoyager has compiled the project, we'll have this dialog box called FMR properties, and it'll contain information about our scan, such as our TR, under slice time, voxel resolution. We can close that if we're looking for it again. It's in file FMR properties. But we can close that and we can close the info pane. We can also change the display so we can change the number of rows and columns. We can zoom out, we can zoom in. And that covers it. That's the conclusion to project creation.